Hey guys, Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Performance Tool Torque Adapter. Now this is, a lot, is going to allow us to use any half inch wrench and then give us proper torquing specifications as we torque down those bolts for either half inch, three eighths drive, or quarter inch drive. Now this offers us several different settings. We've got uh, the standard setting foot pound and inch pound. We have Newton meters. But we've also get, got kilogram per square centimeter and per square meter. So regardless of what the torque spec you're given is, you'll be able to use this to get your bolts properly torqued down. Now it's very important to get things torqued down properly. You don't want to over tighten them. You don't want to under tighten them. We do hitch installs and goosenecks and U-bolts and trailer couplers and jacks and all the things of, of that nature. They all use different size hardware. And by properly torquing them down, you're gonna ensure that that bolt's gonna hold. If we over tighten a bolt, we tend to stretch it a little bit. That causes it to be weak. If we don't have it tightened up enough, then we're not getting enough holding force on there. So we know it's gonna be held properly. So I think this is an excellent idea. It's a very easy to use system. The screen will rotate for you. So regardless of whether you've got it kind of in a downward position trying to tighten it or it's a little bit higher, you'll still be able to see the readout. Now you'll see when we use it here in a few minutes, it gives us different beeps. So once we get up to 70% torque, it's gonna beep. We get up to 90% torque, it's gonna beep a little bit quicker. And then when we get to 100, it goes to a solid. So it gives us an idea as we're tightening it down, how close we are and how much further we have to go. Now if we look right here, we're going to have 10 different presets we can choose from. This one says set zero. We don't have anything programmed there. Here you can see set one. We've got that to 86 foot pounds. To adjust and change that, basically we want to get to it and then we hit the arrow button. That arrow button switches. See how it just kind of like a watch. Every time you hit it, it's going to switch over to the next number. And we can go up to 150 pounds. But once we get to the number we want to change, we just hit the plus button. See that right on top? And that's going to change that number. It just runs right up one through zero and then back up. So we'll just leave that at 86. That's what we're going to use. And then we can hit the T. That's going to lock that in for us. At that point, we're ready to go. Now let's say we needed to set a different one. We'll hit our plus button again. Just go to set four here. Now it's goes to kilogram per square centimeter, so we want to get that adjusted to whatever unit we're going to be using. Kilogram per square meter, inch pounds. Once we get there, we can dial it up. So let's say we want to do 26 inch pounds. Just use that same strategy. Once we've got it where we go, we hit the T. The U here is going to switch your units. And then the M button, that's our mode button. So we'll hold that down a couple seconds, turns it off, press it to turn it back on. And when we see that CAD, that's the auto calibration. So it auto zeros every time. Right here, you can see the percentage that larger O changes and that's gonna give us a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90%, up to 100% torque value. So we know how close we're getting there. Overall, it's a nice compact system, it comes in a, Nice heavy duty carrying case here so we can easily throw this in the toolbox of our truck, anything like that, and always have a torque wrench on hand. And with the adapters that we talked about, you'll be able to use any size socket to get up to the torque specification you need. Going anywhere from the inch pounds all the way up to the foot pounds, it's gonna have a range of 30 foot pounds up to 150 foot pounds. So it's gonna work out for any hardware really up to about your, uh, uh, like a half inch or a five eighths size bolt. Anything larger than that, generally we're torquing it over that 150 foot pound, so keep that in mind. But overall, I think this would be an excellent thing. Throw it in your toolbox, have it on hand all the time, throw it in your toolbox at home. That way, anytime you need to torque something down, you can do it properly and you won't have to worry about it. And when you're ready to use it, essentially you're just gonna put it onto a half inch. I like to use a breaker bar. Uh, that way you don't have to deal with the ratcheting mechanism. You can do what you want though. And you'll add the socket that you need. Now remember, you do have the adapters, but go with the largest one that you have. If you try to do 100 foot pounds of torque with that quarter inch adapter, you're likely to break it, you know? So you wanna, if you're gonna do that kind of size or that kind of weight, 
use that half inch. And then we're just going to hit the M or mode button. That's going to turn it on for us. It goes to that normal CAD screen, and which is going to, uh, to auto calibrate it. And then we'll hit that plus button just so we can make sure. Yeah, I'm going to torque these down to 86 foot pounds. So we've got that that we set earlier. We'll hit our T. That says that's the one we want to use. And then we'll start torquing it down. And here you can kind of see where that screen comes in pretty handy, that rotational aspect. And we can rotate it so we can see it. Looks like that. Of course, tires are going to use a crossing pattern. Overall, guys, I find this thing really handy. I think it works out well. That small compact storage case to keep it with you all the time. You have a blowout. You can get proper torque on your wheels here. I also like that it's adaptable with all the different settings that we have, inch pounds, foot pounds, Newton meters, and the metrics. I think it just is very handy. I think you'll find it very useful. And anytime we can properly torque something down, we know it's gonna be safer. So I definitely like it. It's definitely something I would own.